All right, folks, gather around for the ultimate real estate plot twist. Josh Flagg is finally tying the knot, not with a person, but with Charlie Puth's lavish Beverly Hills estate. Yes, because nothing says commitment like a 92-town zip code. Who needs vows when you have panoramic views? Ah, the sweet serenade of closing costs and mortgage rates. Move over, Shakespeare. This is the real love story. You know, some people buy houses for the amenities, but Josh apparently just wants to live where attention was possibly conceived. Imagine waking up to the ghost of Melody's past wandering the hallways, leaving a musical legacy in the shower. Every creak is a piano key, and every doorbell ring, a surprise chorus. Talk about echoing through the halls. Can we just appreciate for a moment how Josh might now have to deal with cold call requests? Hello, is this Charlie? We want him to perform at Aunt Linda's wedding for free. I mean, does inheriting a house come with the previous owner's fan mail? Oh, the age-old question. What's scarier, property taxes or Charlie's leftover fan scrawlings? But let's be real. In Beverly Hills, neighbors don't lend cups of sugar. They lend cups of handcrafted artisanal, organic, fair trade, gold-dusted sweetener blend. So Josh now mingles with the elite. Do they have a welcome wagon with diamonds or just regular old platinum? Maybe it even comes with a side dish of insider stock tips. On a related note, imagine the housewarming party. Invitations carved on stone tablets, because who uses paper? Guests are probably helicoptered in, literally. Meanwhile, we're over here wondering if our Uber driver has any snack bars. Everyone waits to see if Charlie swings by to christen the opening bash. Expectations are as high as property values. The real question, will Josh discover a secret vault of unreleased tracks, or perhaps a hidden karaoke room? Maybe even a staircase that leads to nowhere, other than existential dread. Will he swing from chandeliers or dive into metaphorical pools of real estate genius? We'll just have to tune in, rent some popcorn, and let the suspense crescendo. So audience, what would you do if you suddenly owned a celebrity's former estate? Would you walk around in robes all day, channeling Christopher Walken in a fancy hotel, or host talent show parties inspired by The Voice? What quirky addition would you bring, as eccentric as they come, to leave your mark forevermore in this who's who story? Like and subscribe, please.